Hey, what's up, guys? Uh, this is going to be a simple tutorial to tell you about a cool new feature built into Leopard called Web Clips. So if you go into Dashboard, you'll notice I have a couple of um, examples of some web clips laying around. So I'm going to tell you um, why web clips are useful. So first thing you'll notice is that um, it looks like a website, and if I click on a part of a, of a web clip, like let's say I click on my subscribers, it'll open my subscribers in my default browser. Okay, next thing is um, you can, there's this little icon, and if you press it, you can get more info and select whatever theme you want. Like you can make it look torn, or um, pretty much anything you want. So, okay, so here are some examples of some web clips. Here is, um, in case I want to keep track of my subscribers, I can just look at that, and if I see a new subscriber, I can, I can just click on them, and yeah. This is my um, YouTube toolbar, so I can just click on videos and open up the videos page in um, YouTube. Or uh, I can, if I want to upload something really quickly, I just can just click upload or something like that. And <coughs> for more information, all links are going to work if they're a link. And um, here is the last example where this is um, MacRumors.com. Is it's a nice website that um, tells you some about some rumors about some nice products that Apple is going to make. So um, this is just their um, box for the la latest rumor, and since this is a web clip and web clips get updated because it's part of that page, um, every time um, Mac Rumors will change their site, I will get a new web clip. So um, I'm just gonna clear these so you can get to more room so a way you can get some web clips is you can um, look find the web clip in your toolbar just drag in web clip and it'll ask you to click on Safari so you can just click that and that'll launch Safari or you can just launch Safari on your own now let's say I wanted to make a web clip of um, Apple's news page so um, to go to apple.com or I'll just make a web clip of this little news thing and then if there's any article that I like, since these are links, I can just click on it from my dashboard and I can get ready to go. So I can just right click the page, anywhere on the page, and you'll see um, somewhere that says open in dashboard. So what you do is you right click on your Safari window, say open in dashboard, it should be right there, and then select the part of the window you want. Now for some things it's not going to recognize the window, or if you want to make a full window, you can just click on that and then drag it wherever you want. So I'm just going to move that right over there and then drag the size a little to wherever I like it. This the bottom thing. Or I can make a web click of the toolbar because there is um, a minimum of how thin you can make it. So I'm just gonna make a web clip of this toolbar and I'll even keep in the middle of this picture just as an example. First thing you'll notice is it matches up exactly with the thing because it makes the web clip of wherever you're scrolled and um, yeah and if I clip on any of these parts of the toolbar it'll go to that in my default browser which is Firefox and uh, yeah so Web clips are a short way to get around, like bookmarks, get your information on the news, um, anything like that. Hope this was helpful to you. Thank you for watching, and goodbye.